This is the Beverly Copeland Report. This is part five. Today is Wednesday, March the 27th, 2013. This is part five, the final part on the personal. Again, I'm doing the personal part, the first five parts, to let you decide, what do you think? Do I have bad luck or am I the victim of a political hit? Either way, I have to leave this country as soon as humanly possible before I have a massive heart attack. Um, I, again, I have been told by activists from left to right that my problems are the political leadership, the Democrats and the Republicans. But under the Constitution of these United States, the only thing that I'm required to do, the only thing that you are required to do are to follow the laws of the land. I am clearly and unequivocally a law-abiding citizen. No one, therefore, has the right to interfere with me, try to break me, or to make me do anything that I don't want to do. No one has the right, no one has the moral authority, in my opinion, to break anyone. Certainly, no one has the moral authority to break a law-abiding citizen of these United States. Now, I'm going to finish up this email that I sent to my brother on, uh, when did I send it? On March the 25th. Now, also, what I'm going to do is include in this tape a before and after. Again, he had an electrician come. Now, for the same switches in the past, when they've been replaced, or outlets or receptacles, all that has been required is that the plate be taken off the old, then the old switch taken out, the new switch put, put in, and then a plate put back over the new switch receptacle outlet. This electrician who my brother had, Wayne Thompson, made big gaping holes in the walls and the ceilings and uh, went up on the roof and took the lock off the inside door on the roof and then only when I uh, questioned why he did it did he go back and put the latches lock bolt back on the roof door. I'm concerned about that because my mother was sexually assaulted in this house. Moreover, shortly after he did that, I noticed that the stops on the windows in my mother's bedroom, again, my mother was sex, had been taken out so someone could come in that window. So I barricaded that window, the windows, the window, that window in my mom's room with the furniture, with her furniture in her room, inasmuch as she is deceased and I'm the only one who lives in this house. Again, I'm going to include a tape, about two minutes or so as part of this part five, and then after this, I'm going into the personal. Um, I called you, this is to my brother Oscar, this is the, the email. I called you four times this weekend, Oscar. However, you have not returned any of my calls. I found this quite disturbing, inasmuch as De Cruz is coming to this house today, Monday, March the 25th, 2013, to do the work you have hired him to do, including correcting the shoddy work that Wayne Thompson did, and also fixing the leak from the shower stall in the upstairs bathroom. As you said he would, De Cruz said he had confirmed with you after De Cruz came to this house to see what has to be done. True, you are paying De Cruz of MC Home Improvement for the work that he's doing. You're paying him as the executive of our mother's estate, Oscar. My question, Oscar, is the one I have asked you several times. Why on earth are you having Bronx Shepherd Sony Construction paid in full $23,000 for shoddy work? E.g., for their Department of Buildings violations, including the new leak that potentially could cause this house to collapse. Finally, inasmuch as you are having them paid $23,000 for their shoddy work 
from the proceeds of the sale of this house and you refuse to have them repair the stair lifts that they installed and both do not work, Asuka. It is imperative that you have someone fix both stair lifts. As you know, Asuka, you broke my back in two places and ruptured my digestive and excretory systems in a near fatal automobile accident when I was a passenger in your car and you were driving. I was reading in the front seat and my brother was driving. Moreover, I had to have surgery on one of my knees a few years ago. The whole skeleton is co connected. So the back was broken. Over years, the knees compensated my walking to compensate for the pain from the back. And so the knees went out, so I did surgery on one of my knees. Therefore, it's not surprising that my knees and back are going out because both of the stair lifts that Bronx Shepherd Sony Construction installed don't work. Oscar, in as much as you are paying them in full as the executive of our mother's estate when this house is sold, and I can't do anything because he's the executive of my mother's estate, $23,000 for shoddy work out of the proceeds of the sale of this house, which I am a part owner and which I live in, I must, with all due respect, request that you have someone also fix both stair lifts ASAP. The manufacturer said they are designed simply and that they are not difficult to fix. Perhaps you can have Manny DeCruz fix the stair lifts when he comes today. DeCruz did not fix them. My brother said he shouldn't fix them. My final question again. Why on earth are you, as the executor of our mother's estate, having Bronx Shepherd Sony Construction paid in full $23,000 for shoddy work and not having them fix any of their shoddy work. De Cruz said, for example, the problem with the leak in the shower is related to shoddy workmanship. That is, Bronx Shepherd Sony Construction did not install a proper floor shower cover insulator to prevent such leaks. Even though, and so I had, I had to sign off. So I asked my brother, I can't, he is the executor of my mother's estate. <clears throat> my mother didn't, was told that she could only have one executor. <clears throat> she made my brother <clears throat> ask executor. That's not true. She could have had more than one. She would have. <clears throat> I was my mother's health care proxy because I took care of her. And my brother was the executor of her estate. So I wanted an autopsy of my mother's body when she died because I felt her she should not have died. Her medical team had said she should live to be over 100 years old. Yeah, 100 years. They revived her in the hospital, and then as far as I'm concerned, they murdered her, and I think an autopsy would have revealed that at Montefiore Hospital. He refused to have an autopsy. Um... So he refused to have Bronx Shepherd Sony make do the corrective work. Now the Bronx Shepherd Sony came, so that made that me feel uncomfortable with that, because my mother and I sat down with my brother before Bronx Shepherd Sony came here, and we showed him the literature. We told him about the accessibility program, so he approved of them coming and doing the work. So. Inasmuch as they've done shoddy work, and my mother and I have tried to do everything to get them to uh, correct the shoddy work that they've done, including, as the police told us, have the Department of Buildings come here, my brother refuses to make them hold them accountable. I don't understand it. But I do know that all of this is taking a toll on my health, and I have to get out of here. I have to get out of America. I have to get out. And the sooner I get out, the better.
because there's certain things I'm just not going to do. I'm just not going to do. I'm just not going to do. And the cops are not going to do anything. They're not going to do anything. They're not going to do anything. And I told him, I've sent my brother and sent my brother in another email. His wife, Stephanie, acts like she's Don Corleone, the god of mafia's uh, daughter. I don't have anything to say to his, his this is his sec. I don't have anything to say to her. I avoid her like the plague, just like I avoid these neighbors. Not because I'm just a snob. It's because I have standards in Martin Luther King's sense because the content of their character is garbage. She acts like she's a, a mafia, you know. And, you know, I'm not impressed with criminals. I'm not, they just don't impress me, criminals. You know, if she acts like she's Don Corleone's daughter, I'm not impressed with, so what? I'm not impressed with that garbage. In Martin Luther King, that's why I have nothing to do with the neighbors around here. I would never have anything to do with these people. It's beneath me because of the content of their character. Martin Luther, using Martin Luther King's criteria, the content of their character, it would be beneath me to have anything to do with these people. What they did to my mother, what they're doing to me, my mother complained about the neighbors banging on the wall, bullying her, or telling her to fall to her medical team, etc., etc. I had complained to the cops too. She complained, they do nothing. Um, so I didn't go to, when he, he announced that he was marrying this Stephanie, I didn't go to the wedding. I refused to go to the wedding. But uh, she acts like my mother owes her something. My mother does not owe my brother's wife a goddamn thing. She didn't leave Stephanie anything in her will. She doesn't owe Stephanie anything. Presumably, Stephanie knows who her mother is or was. Certainly, her mother, my mother, was never Stephanie's mother. It was my mother's prerogative not to leave Stephanie anything. And I hope my brother communicates to Stephanie that my mother owes her nothing. You know, I just have to get out of here. I really do. I just have to get out of here. I mean, I'm not impressed with, with criminals. With, I mean, I, mean I, I, I evaluate people not on the basis of what or their station in life. I evaluate people in terms of the content of their character. I use Martin Luther King's criteria to evaluate people. My brother's wife, as far as I'm concerned, is garbage. These neighbors around here are garbage. I say that evaluating them in what they do in terms of Martin Luther King's criteria. I don't belong in a garbage dump. And I don't plan to stay in one. Now, another thing I, I mentioned to my brother, he, the, when, the, when the people who were supposedly, quote-unquote, buying this house sent their appraiser to this house, over me, the appraiser asked my brother, how much is the house, the contract that he signed for the house, sale of this house? My brother said over that man, $396,000. I said, what, Oscar? I thought you said the most you could get for this house was $296,000, probably less. And so the contractor looked at him and he said, oh, two ninety six. dollars So then the contractor said, okay, you signed a contract for $296,000. I said to my brother, Oscar, how can you sign any contract? <clears throat> I am one, I'm a one-third owner of this house. Why didn't I get a copy of that contract? 
how can he sign contracts for the sale of this house and I'm not getting, I don't know if my sister got a copy of it, I didn't get anything. So to me, $296,000, true it's in the boogie down Bronx, but my mother's to put a lot of work in this house. You wouldn't think it's in the boogie down Bronx. So I went around the corner to the local real estate agent, Blake, reputable, and he said these houses, the house my mom has, should sell it for around $400,000, which was consistent with, the, the, they say they, the range is from three fifty dollars to 400000 True, it's in the boogie down Bronx, but I figured, okay, my mother put a lot of work in it, okay, 400000 but then I even looked at the, uh, uh, the, the estimate by my brother's lawyer, and he said 350000 So where's my brother selling it for two ninety six? And he And if I hadn't, and so when the appraiser was coming, he said, I don't have to be there when the appraiser, I said, yes, you do. I insisted that he come. It's a good thing that I did. Because the appraiser said, how much? He said, three ninety six, And I said, what? I thought you said the most, two ninety six. Then Oscar said, two ninety six. Then the appraiser said, the contract is worth two ninety six. And with the look on my brother's face, I don't know what's going on. My brother was supposed to give to me the documents for, from, the, from the last insurance claim. The tra my mother blew everything reputable. Traveler's insurance. She was supposed to give me the before and after pictures and the settle, how much the travelers settled, how much he, he received from travelers, how much he paid to the, the, to, the, to the contractor, was there money left over? My brother has not given me anything. I don't know. I told my brother and his lawyer they should give me, they're required to give me and my sister too, all documents concerning the sale of this house. Now this house should be served, should so served, should be sold soon, because God bless Manny De Cruz, MC Home Improvement. He did a masterful job cleaning up the mess that Wayne Thompson created. So when the Department of Buildings comes back to inspect the house, it should get a clean bill of health, and therefore it should be sold relatively soon. Now. Uh, one thing, I, my brother knows I know very powerful people. If he so much as does anything shady, I'm calling people I know, a law professor, federal judge I know in Washington, D.C. And uh, God help him, if he just slips, I'm going to have him crucified because I'm tired of him and all the monkey business. Because this house should be sold for three hundred and ninety-six thousand, at least four hundred thousand dollars. All right, he's selling it for two ninety-six. I want all, and if he's paying Bronx Shepherd Sony twenty-three thousand dollars, it's not really supposed to go to Sony Bronx Shepherd. It's supposed to go to the state of New York, because it was for a, an accessibility state-funded accessibility program. Bronx Shepherd Sony at this point have to have been paid by the state already. So through that federal judge, for federal judge, I'm going to follow the money. Where does all the money go? And the stair lifts are broken. He won't have them fixed. If within the first year, Bronx Shepherd Sony said anything goes wrong, stair lifts they'll fix them for free. They won't fix the stair lifts. And it's very hard for me because, again, my brother broke my back in two places, ruptured my digestive and excretory system, et cetera, et cetera, in a near-fatal automobile accident in his car. He was driving. I was in the front reading. In fact, I was at the Roosevelt Hospital, one of the top hospitals in the city, and they never expected me to walk again. Never did. They had doctors from around the world examine me, because given the, the imaging, the x-rays at that time, it was x-rays at that time of my back, they said in the history of the Roosevelt Hospital, one person had ever sustained that kind of, those kind of fractures to the back and be able to, been able to walk again. And obviously I can, but over time, since all the bones are connected, they warned me about that. 
my other bones are, are going out, like to compensate for the pain in the back. The way I, my gait has been out, so my knees went out. I had to have surgery on my knee a few years ago. But I, knock on wood, I had enough sense when I left the hospital to stop using, and in the hospital, not use that much pain medicine because I would be a basket case today. If I had used pain, I, I just live with pain. People say, why don't you smile? I'm in pain. Let me tell you, oh, you break your back the way I did. Anyone will tell you she lives with pain. And the knees now, the back is like second nature. I don't even think about back pain. It's just something I live with. But the knees are, are a constant struggle. I, I, I mean, it's just, there's so much that one person can take. So much that, I mean, I was told by a government-funded advocacy group that I should get out of the country anyway, that my brother is trying to get me out the picture to take my share of my mom's uh, estate. What did my mother, at 90 years old, what did she have? Basically... Well, she said she had an account with $90,000 in it, but I didn't see it in any of my brother's documentation. And we went to the bank and we saw a lawyer try to get it, but my mom died before we could follow up on that. So basically it's this house. And um, <clears throat> and that's what I was told by a government-funded advocacy Agency, get out the country. Your brother's trying to get rid of you to take your share of your mother's estate. When my mother was alive, I was told by uh, uh, a crimes victims chief at the Bronx District Attorney's Office that my brother was trying to appropriate my mother's assets. So obviously, I have to get out this country. If I have value to society. I better get out of this country in, in, a, in, a, in, a few, in a month, a few weeks, because I feel a massive heart attack coming. I wanted to be a doctor, right? Right now it seems good, but I know I feel it coming, and when that happens, that's it. I'm, I'm dead. Do I have value to society or not? I have my health. Demands that I get out of these United States of America. Philosophically, I am driven by a sense of moral order and justice. I don't belong in the United States. Everything that the Clintons, the Bushes, Obama, McCain, Bloomberg, Schumer, Columbia, NYU, everything that the pol American political intellectual, Biden, everything that the American political intellectual class stands for, violates my sensibility. I am philosophically driven by a sense of moral order and justice. I don't belong in the United States. Therefore, I do not belong in the United States. This country is in free fall. It's headed for a crash landing. The whole world is furious with the American people for not holding the American political intellectual class accountable for destroying this country in broad swaths of the rest of the world. And they are not, they're not, so I can't do it alone. So I'm leaving because I absolutely categorically refuse to participate in the destruction of my country, a country my ancestors built slave labor that in a generation, immigrants have come over here and destroyed. Metaphorically, just off the boat, come and destroy. By the way, I now have my show on YouTube. I have it, had it on, I opened up a Facebook account. I, don't, I didn't know how to use Facebook, so what I'm going to have to do is delete all the friends that I have on Facebook and start again because I don't, I, I, I look for Facebook for directions and I didn't see any, so I just clicked on things, but apparently, I don't know, so I'm going to have to start that over again, just delete all the friends, 
and figure, find out how Facebook works because I really don't know. I'm Beverly Copeland. This